Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So this video is going to be about all my current favorite skincare and makeup items. So I'm going to be taking you through all of these items. There are around 10 items I would say. So uh, please do not mind my hair in this video. It's very hot outside. So I just put a very high ponytail and I have sprayed it down so that not one bloody hair strand moves and irritate the crap out of me so before we begin please like share comment and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification so that you do not miss out any uploads from my channel let's get started If you're wondering about my eye look, I have actually filmed a tutorial on this eye look only. I've tested out a newly launched palette from Nikake. So that video must have been up already. I'm not too sure. If it's not up, uh, please wait for the video. If it's already up, I'll leave a link to it in the description box below. Don't forget to check that out. And also these earrings, I have filmed a haul video about um, where I got these earrings from, these hoops. This is like the first time I guess I'm trying out hoops. I don't know. So without any further ado, let's begin with all my favorite current skincare and makeup items. So the first thing I'm going to talk about are some of the skincare items that I have been currently loving and using it over and over and over again. So the first thing I want to talk about is this one. So uh, this is the Jewa Vitamin C 20% uh, Hyaluronic Acid Anti-Aging and Brightening Serum for all skin. This is the Vitamin C Serum by Jewa. I've done a whole uh, review on uh, the Jewa brand skincare products that I bought from Nika. I leave a card up here so that you can check it out. Uh, so this is so good so as i already mentioned in that video i had a lot of texture on my forehead and everything just disappeared after i started using this serum if you're starting out on uh, vitamin c serums which i am uh, do give this one a go because this one retails for about only 350 rupees it's actually 550 but you can always find this on a discounted price for about 350 on nika so do give this a go i have been loving the serum i've been using it every alternate day not uh, every single day so this is the jeva vitamin c serum which i do recommend and have been loving the past month or two months i would say so the vitamin c comes in a nice glass uh, bottle it looks like this this is the glass bottle and you also get a dropper you can take this dropper drop out a few um, drops of this serum and then just apply it onto your face in the morning I've given a detailed review on this and all other Jeva products on my channel if you haven't checked that out yet do check it out so that's the first product so the second product is this one this is the good vibes neem and Tulsi glow toner this feels so refreshing on the skin good vibes you can find this on purple.com uh, i i'm not sure if i have seen it on nika but you can find this on purple.com and it's always on a discount price this retails for about 175 rupees i believe let me check yeah this retails for about 175 rupees but i got this for around 142 rupees or something and i'm almost about to finish this uh, i don't think you can see i only have this much left i've been using this consistently in the morning because i'm a lazy girl and spray bottle you know does interest me a lot and if it works on your skin what more could you ask for so I love this it also has some nice ingredients like neem and tulsi they have like a dozen of variants in this they have pomegranate they have basil they have tea tree so I do want to try out all those variants as well so I love this and I would definitely recommend this to anybody who's looking out for a toner that comes in a spray bottle and the spray looks like this the only thing that I don't like is the uh, the way this sprays the toner on your face it's like chuck. okay so that could have been a little better but for 140 rupees what more can you ask for the product is great so i love this so the final skincare product that i'm going to be talking about in this video is my current favorite face mask again this is from jeva i've been talking a lot uh, about the jeva products i have like two jeva products in my current favorites video that's how much i love that brand it's so affordable it's very nice the quality is good the ingredients are good and it's indian uh, made it's an indian brand so this 
is the Jeeva Activated Charcoal Face Pack with Argan Oil. Oh my God. You can see how much I finished up. I have like only like not even half not even half a tub left. I have like very little left. I've been using this consistently. I've been using this like um, every every week. I would say twice or something. Whenever I feel that my skin feels a little uh, too um, you know dirty or very clogged, I use this, and this instantly clears up my skin. This instantly removes all the dirt and grime out of my skin and makes it squeaky clean and it makes it so soft it smells so good yeah it does smell so good it it's really nice i also have the chocolate variant which i haven't reached out for that much i've been you know reaching out for this even more than the chocolate variant because this just cleans your skin and it does not even cause any breakout or anything this has some really nice ingredients you can find this on nika and this retails for about uh, 440 rupees I guess how much does this retail for give me a minute yeah this retails for about 449 rupees but you can find this on a discounted price for 299 on Nika I love this I do recommend this mask for each and every one of you who is on a lookout for a good quality charcoal mask do give this one a go so I love this so rest of this, uh, rest of my current uh, favorite items are going to be makeup. So moving on to all my current favorite makeup items, the first one has got to be these concealers. These are the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealers. I have the shade Caramel and I also have the shade Sand. I love using Caramel to, you know, uh, cancel out all the darkness underneath my eye, around my mouth and other pigmented areas. So I love this concealer mainly because it offers medium to buildable full coverage and it's also lightweight and it also blends out like a dream. You just don't have to even spend so much time blending. It blends out so easily. It's so creamy me and it's also uh, very nice it just offers so much uh, coverage also one thing I wish it did do is that I wish it did not get over that quickly because this gets over so quickly I've never ever finished up a concealer in my life and I'm about to finish this up so this is a 6 ml tube and it retails for about 650 uh, rupees or something but if you buy this on a discounted price you can get it for about 450 or 470 rupees or something so the next is this um, shade sand that I love to use underneath my eyes to highlight I have both of these con concealers underneath my eyes today and I love 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 this I've used this for concealing and I've used this for highlighting I also use this to kind of prep my eyelid for um, any eye makeup that I want to do so that you know the eyeshadows does appear a little brighter so I just love this concealer and I do recommend this if you haven't watched my concealers video yet watch it I'll put a card up here so do watch that so the next one is this one again from Maybelline. So this is the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder. I am in the shade 25 medium. This retails for about 650 rupees. 695 rupees but you can again find it on a discounted price do not buy all of this stuff on their actual mrp you can find this on discounts all the freaking time so this powder oh my god i've been using this powder constantly for everything i also have another shade which is like uh, 15 or something that i used to set my um, eyeshadow base i use this and then i set it with that lighter shade powder this has like a good pigment to it which I do like and it's super finely milled and it goes on like airbrushed onto your face and it kind of blurs out everything so I just love this powder to use it underneath my eye just that do not go overboard with this powder it can look a little cakey just use the right amount and you'll be good to go so I love this powder and I do recommend this one if you're looking out for a good loose powder just buy that so the next item is again by Maybelline. So uh, this is the Maybelline Total Temptation Mascara. 
So this is the waterproof variant. They recently came out with a washable variant which uh, comes in like an orange, a light orange or a peachy tube. I do want to give that a go as well but this one is so good. Initially it did not perform that well. Initially you know with mascaras they are a little wet and they do not uh, perform that well when they are in that kind of a state and once a little bit of air gets in that's when the mascara gets like really good. I have this mascara on my lashes. Oh by the way I have Add that uh, fit me loose powder underneath my eye and also I set it with the same this powder I used this on my entire face and underneath my eye I also baked with this today so this one uh, this is the mascara that I have on right now you can see it gives like extremely nice volume and uh, this is an awesome mascara and, and it smells like coconut it does smell like coconut and I love it. I would definitely go out and repurchase this mascara for sure. Maybe I'll purchase the washable variant. So I freaking love this mascara and I do recommend it. All the products that I'm talking about I do recommend because they are my current favorites and I've been using them constantly on an everyday basis. So the next product is by Wet n Wild. So this is the Wet n Wild contouring uh, palette. So this is how it looks like. This looks a little white on camera because of the exposure but this is a banana shade. I, you can see I've hit pan on this uh, particular powder. It's like a brontoring shade. You can also bronze with it and contour with it because it's such a beautiful neutral undertoned powder. So the pigmentation is also just so good just the right amount of uh, pigment you might think that this is a little light and wouldn't show up on my skin but it does show up and it looks very very natural so this is how the banana shade looks like it's a little bit powdery but you know the quality is so good it blends so well and uh, this is just 4.99 rupees or something and i freaking love this powder this is called the wet n wild mega glow contouring palette contour and this is in the shade caramel toffee if you are medium to dusky like me do give this one a go they also have like a lighter variant in this which is called dulce de leche or something I think that will be more suitable for fair skin tones or light medium skin tones. If you're medium dark, do go for this one. If you're deep dark, I don't think this will suit you sadly. I hope they come out with more shades because the formula is so freaking good. So this is like the huge bronzer and uh, banana powder duo that I love. This is actually in my top drawer as well. If you haven't checked out my top drawer organization video, do check it out. I've uh, showed this pa particular palette in that video as well. So the next item is a tool, a makeup tool. I have a makeup brush that I have been using constantly in all of my videos. I've been using it for all my eye makeup looks and I'm talking about the Pro Art PE22 brush. So this is how the brush looks like. It's a beautiful blending brush. It's so good. It's super fluffy and it retails for about only 300. And um, I think you can find this on Mintra and Amazon and Nykaa as well. The quality of the bristles are great. I've ordered two more uh, Pro Art brushes. Uh, those are for face. The eye brush right here, it's very good. I also have a crease brush that's very good. So I have been loving and enjoying this brush so much. If you're looking for a blending brush that's good quality and affordable, do give this one a go. Pro Arts has some amazing brushes. Uh, do let me know if you need a review on uh, all the Pro Art brushes that I have. So I personally love this brush. I've been enjoying it a lot. And I've also used it today to create this eye look. So the next category is lipsticks. So I've been enjoying um, mostly nude lipsticks, not that much of a bold uh, lipsticks. So first of all, let me talk about the lip liner that I've been constantly using every single time I wear a nude lipstick. So this is the Maybelline Color Sensational Lip Liner and this is in the shade 120 Rich Chocolate. Oh my god, if you are a brown skin girl, if you are like NC40 above, uh, you do need this lip liner. It's so good. It goes so well with all your nude lipsticks. I actually have this brown lip liner on my lips today and I have filled my lips a little bit with it and I've used the Give Me Mocha shade from Wet n Wild Catsuit uh, lipstick range. 
uh, I've used that to fill into my lips. So this works so well with all your nude lipsticks. Let me do a swatchy swatch for you guys. And this goes on super creamy. It's like so creamy. I hope you can see that. It's such a creamy uh, lip liner. It just glides on and after that it sets and becomes matte and it does not budge. It's so good. I actually got this along with the shade Chai from uh, Nykaa and uh, I haven't used that uh, particular shade yet but I've been constantly using and loving this lip liner. So I do recommend this uh, particular range of lip liners. They are so good I guess. So that's the lip liner that I've been currently loving. Moving on to my current favorite lipsticks. I've been loving these Miss Claire Soft Matte Lip Creams and I've been using two shades constantly. One is the number 62 and the other is the shade uh, 55 which I have in my office bag that I keep uh, taking it out and I, I'm using it in my office. So I love these two shades so much because it's a beautiful purpley nude. It has like a nice purple tone. Uh, I'm going to be swatching it right here. So I'm sorry that merged in with the lip liner. So this is how the swatch looks like. It's a beautiful purple toned nude color that will complement medium to dusky skin tone very well. I featured this in my top 5 nude lipsticks under 300 rupees video I guess. If you haven't watched that yet, I'll put a card up here. Do go and watch that. I have all the nude lipstick shade for medium to deep skin tone all under rupees 300. This is the Miss Claire lip shade in the number 62 and I freaking love this shade it's so beautiful so do give this a go and this retails for about uh, uh, 295 or something and that lip liner it retails for about 300 or 350 again uh, look for discounts do not buy it at its full price so the next two lipsticks are from this uh, Masaba range that I recently reviewed uh, on my channel as well. So I reviewed three lipsticks out of which two lipsticks have been using constantly. Uh, these lipsticks are not matte. These are creamy. It's not even creamy matte. It's a nice creamy lipstick. The first shade I want to talk about is this. This is how the packaging looks like first of all. This is how the packaging looks like. It's so beautiful. This is the shade Cool Guy. It's a nice cool toned brown shade that will complement uh, deep skin tones. So it also has like a little bit of pink in it. Like you can see it's a little shiny. Uh, this is so moisturizing on the lips. It's so, you know, it looks very nice and it plums. It makes your lips look very plump and nice, you know. So it's one of those kind of lipsticks and I love this shade. So this is the shade I'm talking about. So that's the lipstick that I've been loving from the Masaba collection. One more lipstick that I've been really loving is this shade. This is the shade Nimbu Pani. This is how the packaging looks like. Nimbu Pani is a gorgeous uh, nude shade again. So this is Nimbu Pani. It goes on very nice and creamy. This is Cool Guy and this is Nimbu Pani. Uh, this one looks a little bit more cool tone and this is a little bit more on the pinkier browny pink uh, side. So if you're looking out for uh, lipsticks that are good quality and are very moisturizing on your lips, do give this one a go. Uh, so if you're basically deep deeper than me then i guess nimbu pani would look gorgeous on you so do give this one a go and uh, i guess there is another shade called pataka that i do want to try because it i think it might look good on medium deep deep dark uh, skin tones so um, that's another shade so those were all my uh, favorites uh, current favorite items both skincare and makeup if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up please share comment and subscribe to my channel and also please let me know in the comments down below if you want me to make more such current favorites uh, videos in the future if you want me to make it like every quarter if you want me to make it every month every month i don't think it's possible because i won't have enough items so if you want me to do a quarterly favorites a yearly favorites do let me know in the comments down below please uh, like share comment and subscribe to my channel thank you for watching my video take care tata bye bye